What's up my friend? Abby here and welcome back to Writer's Life Wednesday. Mmm, feels good to be back sitting in front of my bookshelf filming a normal video. NaNoWriMo just finished last week and now I'm back into the normal swing of things and I have something exciting to say. I wrote one million words. Don't worry, it wasn't just NaNoWriMo. That's like my whole all-time record, okay? If it was just NaNoWriMo, that would have been insane. But of all time, yes, I've been keeping track. Between all the fan fiction, all the short stories, all the novels that will never be published, all the novels that will eventually be published, minus handwritten stories, all of that put together equals one million words and change that I've written in my 21 years on this planet. Wow. Pretty epic. Since this is kind of a milestone, I thought it might be fun to film a video and do, to just take the opportunity to talk about what writing a million words has done for me, how it has completely changed my life for the better, and some advice I would give to new writers who maybe just wrote their first 1,000 words of fiction, or your first 50,000 if this was your first NaNoWriMo and you're like, I'm gonna try something totally new, I'm gonna write a novel, wow, you're amazing. So, let's get into it. Can you even see my candle? That's better. First, the biggest thing that I've learned about writing is writing makes you a writer. There's all these weird myths floating around that are like, in order to be a writer, a real writer, you have to be educated in writing. No, 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 no. In order to be a writer, you just need to pick up a pen and a piece of paper and freaking write something. Writing makes you a writer. Practice makes you a better writer, okay? I know it's really hard to start something new and see how amazing other people are at it and be like, I suck at this, why do I suck at this? I'm never doing this again. Dude, you might suck at it, but that is no reason to give up. In fact, that's a reason to keep doing it. Nobody can be magically excellent at something, okay? I'm obsessed with figure skating, fun fact, and whenever I watch it, I'm amazed by the skill that these professional figure skaters have, how they land these incredibly difficult jumps. But when they first stood up on ice skates, they couldn't do any of that. They fall thousands of times before they acquired the skill that you see on TV, okay? And every single fall brought them closer to a perfect landing. That's how you need to look at writing, or anything, honestly. Expect to fall. Expect to write thousands of words that you're gonna laugh at 10 years from now because of how bad they are. If you go into writing with these golden expectations for yourself that everything you write is gonna be brilliant, you're gonna be disappointed, my friend. You might even be disappointed enough to give up, but that's the one thing I would tell you if I could only give you one piece of writing advice. Never quit. If you don't quit, you will one day find yourself writing words that you are incredibly proud of, living the life that you dreamed and hoped and wished for. You're the only one who can stop you from writing. Think about that. Writing is truly a labor of love. It's probably very close to the bottom of the list of jobs that most people consider lucrative. Not that you can't make a living writing because you absolutely can, but it is a constant practice of self-discipline. How many hours of work will you put into this thing because you love it? How much time, energy, creativity will you pour out for this thing because it lights your heart on fire and makes you get out of bed in the morning? Writing is a beautiful, sacred art, something that a lot of people sadly don't view as art. But books have changed the world. Books have been deemed so dangerous, so influential, that they've been banned and burned and forbidden. You, as a writer, have so much power. Power to make the world a better place. Power to learn about yourself and others and this beautiful, complicated, painful world we live in. Power to change the way people think by changing how they feel. And to be quite honest, I can't think of a more fulfilling job. I started writing when I learned how to write and I'm never gonna stop. So, here's to a million more words. <laughs> and now, I have another exciting announcement to make. I am doing a Q&A. Woo! Yeah! This is my first ever Q&A for this Writer's Life Wednesday channel, and I get a lot of questions already in the comments from you guys, and I thought it might be cool to just 
do a kind of something more personal, like answer your questions in video format, sitting here in front of my lovely bookshelf as kind of a celebration of one million words and the end of NaNoWriMo 2018 and the end of 2018 and 2000 subscribers. I love you guys. So ask me questions, try to keep them writing related. <laughs> and in a couple weeks, I'm going to answer them in a vlog. Okay, I'm super pumped to answer your questions, so jump down into the comment section and ask me something. Until then, I have a fun character-related video coming at you next week, so stick around for that. Smash that like button if you liked this video and be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because I post writing videos every Wednesday and I would love to see you here in the community. Rock on! Shh.